So today I want to talk about being busy and the addiction to being busy and the dopamine adrenaline rush that can come from being busy all of the time. Last week I spoke a lot about how that can be counterproductive to the personal relationships in your life, how that can make you really grumpy when somebody interrupts some of the work you're doing and how that can be detrimental to the relationships of those around you. But the dangers of being busy is that it is addictive. You can prioritise motion over movement. What do I mean by that? The very act of being busy can be the thing that you self-perpetuate that becomes your badge of honour. And for many people in their career, they've been praised by it. It's been the reason they've got promotions. They're admired by others for being busy all the time. They're always on their phones. They're always sending emails. They're always on the phone. They're always doing many, many things at the same time. And we know that being too busy is detrimental, yet still it's praised in many, many organisations. And the reality is, is busy people are not people making the right prioritisations or choices. They're doing way too much rather than doing necessarily the right things. And what's interesting is the CEOs I work with, I hear this quite a lot. They say things to me, oh, I'm just, I'm too busy to make changes here. I've got too many direct reports to spend the time dealing with the fact I've got too many direct reports. They prioritise the things that are urgent, that are in front of them from the people that are there. Again, they're extremely busy, but they're not doing and prioritising the right things. A big part of being addicted to being busy is really identifying the fact that that's what's going on with you. It's looking at the symptoms of this. Maybe you're working long hours. Maybe you get that buzz from doing all of this stuff all of the time. Maybe you enjoy having lots and lots of things on your plate. Maybe you see that as being one of your superpowers is that you can multitask and do many things and get lots of things done. The reality is, is perhaps you need to step back and look at, well, is that what I want? Am I doing the right things? Am I prioritising the right stuff in my life? Am I liking who I am or what this busyness is making me? Because again, if you're ultimately busy all the time, have you got time to be doing the important things in your life, looking after the key people in your, in your world around you, the, the folks that you work with, your direct reports, the other people in the C-suite, your family, your own health, because busyness can be detrimental to that as well. And it comes from really understanding that you get a buzz from being busy and that buzz reinforces the behaviour. I have a background in neuroscience and being addicted to work and um, the dopamine hits that come with that is not unlike the same addiction and the same brain patterns that are used that you see from people who are addicted to gambling or people who are addicted to other substances as well. So self-reinforcing every time you get that buzz, it reinforces that behaviour. And ultimately, long term, it leads to burnout. At least that point where a lot of the things that you're doing in your life are not as enjoyable as they once were. You're not getting that same buzz that you once were. You're having to do more and more to get that same buzz. And you know that's detrimental to your health and to the quality of work that you're doing. So now is the time to do something about it. And the next couple of parts of this series of calling being too busy are going to be how you deal with that. And the next one we're going to have a look at is being accountable for the behaviours of you and those around you to de-emphasise this I suppose addiction to being busy all of the time.